Hey y'all, welcome back to Shane and Joy Adventures. We made a purchase the other day. I'm super stoked about it. She's a lot bigger than I wanted, but we can pass up the deal. Um, she's actually over at our neighbor's house right now. She's nice enough to let us leave it in her little space um, while we get it fixed up and cleaned up. Um, so I'm headed over there now. It's been about five hours cleaning it the other day. Um, and I'm going to try to take all the cabinet faces and hardware off and we're gonna start paint today. I'll take you guys along. Well, here she is. We bought us a pop-up camper. She is still in a really, really good condition. Um, the canvas is pretty much perfect. The outside is perfect. Um, I'll show you guys the inside in just a minute. Um, it's got a bike rack on it, which is nice. It's been, it was taken out until like 2004 was the last time. And she's always been kept in this garage. So I think that's why she looks so good to be a 94. <laughs> I'm from 1994, so um, I'll show you guys the inside. So we have a nice king size bed on this side. Awesome 90s cushions. The table is super nice. I do like where it's positioned. Um, you can actually leave that up and put this pop-up camper down um, But then you still have the walkway to get to the beds. So it's not blocked by this table. So that's super nice um, The cabinets are gonna get an update Keeping these Because it keeps everything shut even though they're not the best looking um, I'll spray paint those and we'll just keep those um, They're all still in good condition and still work um, to keep everything locked in place. We have a nice size fridge, another little seating area, which is actually kind of nice. Lots of storage, um, which is nice. Not 100% sure if we're going to keep all that. Full size bed on that side. Tight 90s flooring. And then we have a bathroom in here. Um, not 100% sure if we will actually use this or not. We might end up using it. Um, we shall see. But that is our pop-up camper. The before. Ceiling is still great. Um, it looks really good. Um, so I'm going to start taking some hardware off and get started on this painting. So I finally got all the hinges and stuff off and all the doors off. We're actually going to spray those with a little cheap spray um, gun that we got on Amazon that we used on our shed. And it did great. I think it was like 30 bucks maybe. Um, so we're actually going to do the doors with that. The rest of all this, I will hand roll. So I'll show you what we got. We'll see how it does and I'll let you guys know how it covers and stuff too. Um, so I got... This one, paint and primer, semi-gloss enamel. Decided to do white cabinets. Um, so I'm not quite sure color-wise what I wanna do, and white pretty much goes with everything. So um, I know I wanted to do darker bedding just cause we're camping and we have dogs. So white bedding, although it looks really pretty, it's not really um, good for camping. So <laughs> um, we got that, we got, I got this nifty little thing. You hold it like this. So I thought that was handy. It was on clearance at Home Depot for 70 cent. Um, I already had some blue tape. I am about to tape everything up. I just got this cheap basic. It was like 250 maybe. 
and then we have these four inch for doors and cabinets I already had the handles um, so we'll see how it does so just finished taping what all I wanted to tape off um, most stuff I'm gonna be painting <sighs> I hate taping anyways got that done I'd already cleaned the cabinets really good but I did just go back over them um, I just use a rag with a little um, alcohol homemade alcohol spray that's what I use at home to clean with um, and that'll dry super fast also um, so they're all wiped down and we are ready to paint but I did do I don't know if you can see it's kind of dark right there but I just taped off that'll stay silver oh this is gonna be painted taped off the spots that I didn't want done so the fridge I'm not 100% sure what to do because it is gray so I guess I'll leave it gray because certain parts of that I just don't know that you can really paint um, and then the front will definitely be white let's get started so update on the painting just started um, definitely gonna need two coats so I decided to stop painting for a minute and do the floors I needed to tape them off um, just to be on the safe side we're obviously not gonna keep the floor we're gonna put the little peel and stick um, wood planks down um, but I need it to be really level and I didn't want there to be buildup of paint on the ground and mess it up so I was like man let me stop and kind of tape that off for a minute so I just did this section we're making some progress so Shane's off work he's here helping me four hands are definitely better than just two um, Shane finished most of this part in here um, and then I finished taping on this part and the floor and we're about to paint this section so we just finished the first coat of everything. Tomorrow we'll finish the second. Um, yeah, I think I'll paint everywhere. Um, I had it in my hair earlier. I don't know if y'all saw that in the video. It was there. Um, <laughs> second coat tomorrow, and then hopefully spray in the doors. Then we gotta go buy flooring and some countertops. Mm -hmm. Super stoked. I'll show you guys um, the progress so far. So this is coat one. This side for some reason just didn't cover as good. Some spots covered really, really well. Looks better in the video probably. It actually does look a little better in the video. <laughs> um, so I'm leaving these two sides because I'm going to put a backsplash there. So I just didn't paint those. Um, and then possibly backsplash on these two. I don't know. We'll see. That's our progress so far. So we are back for day two. Me and Shane are both off today. Um, so we're here to finish up the painting. Hopefully, it'll just take two coats. Hopefully. <laughs> but we're going through nail um, and actually caulking. There's lots of little holes everywhere. And then this big crack we're caulking. And all these small holes. So it'll look a little better. Um, Show you guys after we paint it off. So already coat number two, which is this little section. I can zoom out a little so you can see the first coat versus the second little spot. Looks so much better. Shane's working on testing out the AC and the power. And I'm getting started painting. So it looks so much better. But some parts are starting to dry that we started with and we're totally going to have to do three coats. We'll probably have to go get some more paint too because we still have to do the doors, um, the cabinet doors to everything. But it looks so much better. We're getting there. Lunch break and then we'll come back and we'll do the trim. And then we'll have to do a third coat and she'll be good to go. So I worked this weekend and we got a couple of things in that we purchased. We got these slip covers to go on the cushions. It's a pack of six for $30. Velvet and like a dark blue. I got this 24 
by $197. It was $30 for the countertop with a marble look. And then I decided on this for the backsplash, $7.99. Um, it actually has a lot in it too. So we'll show you guys all that when we actually install it. Um, all that was on Amazon. And then Shane did these yesterday. They look so good. Two coats with the spray gun. It took them like 30 minutes at a time max. Um, that was that $30 spray gun from Amazon. So in my earlier video um, of the outside, I don't think I'll let y'all know, this is a Jayco 1406. 14 uh, foot box. It's a 14 foot box. She is huge, but it is a double axle which is super nice. Um, that way if you do have a blowout or something, you've got at least those extra tires and stuff. So that's nice. I think it's 24 feet. Yeah, 24 feet all the way out. She's a big one. Okay, so we just made it to the camper and we just did a little mock-up with the seat cushions. They look so good. I love them. We do have to pin the backs of them, so I'll show you guys. Um, especially for the bottom is almost quite not big enough. Um, they look so good. <laughs> Shane tried to get out of the way of the small area. This is the second coat again. And then these fillies I'll probably end up putting on the bed, but... We got the blue velvet. They are so soft. This part fits really, really good on this side. And then it's like this. And then I think we're just gonna like safety pin that just to make it a little tighter on the smaller top one. And then this bottom one actually fits pretty good. And you won't even tell on the bottom that it almost doesn't even cover. So it's sitting on this side. And then we have some smaller cushions that go over there. Um, so I think we'll just safety pin those to make it real tight. It's coming along. So also we got, this is the peel and stick flooring. This one is called a driftwood. I think it was a box of 40 and we paid what, like 60 bucks? So we are done with coat number three. I only did certain spots I did not do the tops of these again um, and then spots where we're gonna put like a backsplash um, so those sides will have that cool gold wallpaper on it and then we didn't repaint this because it's gonna have cushions 90% of the time but she's all done painting I tried to paint these it'll be about as good as they're gonna get I might do one more coat they don't come off easy and we're not doing electrical work, so. <laughs> but it looks good. Ready to have the faces on there. All right, so we're finished painting the cabinets. Um, up next is painting these handles. So there was a like a cheap old shower curtain in there, so we're using that as our drop cloth. Um, hinges in these. <sighs> Even though they're not the cutest in the world, we're still gonna keep those because they're very functional. And we are using this Rust-Oleum Oil Rubbed Bronze. So we'll show y'all what it looks like in a little bit. So we went to Lowe's and Home Depot. We looked online and you can find them online, but the screws are like a half inch. They'd be specialty screws. And we're looking for at least some black ones. Yeah. Um, we have a bunch of screws, so it would have been like, I don't know, $30, $40 maybe just to do the screws. So we rigged it up like this and we're just going to spray paint them with the same um, oil rub bronze. Also, that's just the ones that you can see on the front. We have 105 on the front. And there's a bunch on the back that we're just not even going to do. Um, we'll just leave those normal because you won't see them. So. I'll show you um, after we finish. All right, finished product. All these hardware pieces are drying. It looks really good. Um, I don't know if y'all can really see that color. It's really dark, almost like a black, but I didn't want to do just black. 
Um, so I like this, it's got a little sheen to it. Um, and Shane did a really light coat, so the mechanism to lock it still does good without scratching. Um, super excited about those. And we got the fire extinguisher piece looks so much better and all the screws. <laughs> Those are just the front ones too, so she's coming along. So I wanted to show you guys, they're in the back of my car, um, the wood flooring that, well, vinyl wood flooring that we got. Um, Shane's at work and I'm off today. I'm gonna work the next couple of days. Um, so I wanted to get out there and try to do it. Never done this before, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Um, but these are the floors. That was at Lowe's. I showed them to you guys in the thing. Um, sorry, it is upside down. Vinyl plank and driftwood. Um, it's only like 60 bucks. I don't think that we're going to use all of them, so we can take some of them back. Um, so hopefully it'll even be a little bit cheaper if I don't mess up. We'll see. I'll show you guys the process here in a little bit. So I'm in the pop-up camper. Um, I just have a few supplies. I watched a couple like two videos on how to install these peel and stick um, vinyl planks. It looks pretty easy. I'm not super worried about it looking perfect in here. It's a pop-up camper. She's gonna be out in the woods getting dirty. I do want them to be pretty durable and easy to clean. Um, I feel like the floor is pretty straight looking. I'm gonna try to just follow the lines, maybe start in the middle right here um, and follow that line and we'll see how it turns out. But as far as supplies go, I brought another towel for my knees. I wore capris, just the one right on my knees. Um, this just to kind of bear down to like smooth it out and make sure it sticks good. Um, I'm gonna clean them really, really good here in just a little bit. This is just my homemade alcohol spray. Um, and then just a utility cutter. Um, it looks pretty easy to just like score the top of it and then pop it and it'll break where it's supposed to. So um, we'll see how this turns out. So I'm gonna try to just follow this line on the floor. I think I'm gonna start down here. Um, I guess I'll start up here. I'm just gonna start laying it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Trying to kind of plan out where I'm gonna put it a little bit. I know I'm gonna do it staggered just so it's not all um, the same pattern over and over again. Um, it'll look kind of weird like that. And then as far as the edges and stuff, I'm not too concerned about those. Shane will come around and caulk all that. Um, and I guess we're going to try to lay this first piece. Ooh, it's super sticky. Okay. I think I'm gonna come down right here and lay this one here, right on this line. All right, ooh, it's sticky, holy moly. <laughs> Saver is sticky. <laughs> Let's hope that turns out good. I feel like that's pretty straight um, to get me started. Um, at least following those lines on there. The first one's down. And I am just pressing really good on that to get it to stick good. So I'm gonna go down and make a line all the way down. I will video in just a minute.
So totally tried to just eyeball that cut <laughs> right along the ledge. I definitely got, I thought the measuring tape was up here. It is not. So if I did it like this and it would be okay over here, I have a gap. And then if I push it up, it's going to be a little bit crooked. So save this piece. I'll save this piece too. Um, I still may be able to use them for some other little parts. Um, but I am definitely going to have to get a straight edge for this part. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to wait for Shane to finish the floors. I am working on the backsplash, which is going pretty good so far. Um, it's a peel and stick wallpaper on the $7.99 that I showed you guys. The other day I laid it out and just kind of cut what I needed. And then I'll go with a razor blade and just kind of go around the edges. I still have this sticky and I'm just working and pulling this back piece as I slowly go. You can use a credit card or whatever. I found this at home. I'm just going to smooth it out as I'm pulling. Alright, so I only have one side done. But holy moly, it looks so good. Alright, so my GoPro died. So I wasn't able to show you guys this side. But I did that side. It looks great. Oh man. It's gonna look so good. Super excited. I still have to pin all of this where it's not gonna be all loose. Um, it'd be nice if I could do a straight line, but luckily you can't tell because of the couch cushions. But it looks so good. I'll say, I was moving the curtains around. I don't think I'm gonna keep them. I think I'm slowly talking Shane into like we'll be okay without these on the side for now. So we got these tinted things. I think that's decent enough. And then if I need to change or anything, I'll just do it over here. But I'm thinking about getting some um, adjustable shower curtain rods. I've got to measure and just double check and see how long this is or the width of this. Um, we're thinking like 86 inches. I found some on Amazon for like 16 bucks. Um, and then some pretty cheap curtains too. So I may just do that. But these are a lot easier to take off than I thought. Um, I was sliding the other ones and they just came off and I was like, ooh, nice. It's kind of hard to do it in video at the same time. But it just literally slides right out. Um, there's only a couple. And they'll come off and be out of my way. So I just took off the stove top. I was hoping this whole thing was gonna pull up, but it's on this. I'm not sure how to take the whole top off, but this at least gives me a little bit more room. I'm gonna put some of that gold wallpaper back here. Um, so that gives me a little bit more room. I'm gonna clean this with some stainless steel cleaner. And our stove, I'm just gonna leave like that. I'm not gonna do anything to it. It's really nice actually and clean. Um, I'll just cover it back up with this. Okay, so I totally just, you just lift it off pretty much of the hinge, but there is a gas line or something connected. So I think that I'm gonna wait for Shane on that part. Um, I was hoping to kind of move it. I may still be able to move it over here maybe. So I need to paint a little bit more below here. So I'm not gonna be able to get that accent on there. Um, all the way down there so I think if I at least paint it white it'll look better and I can do the accent down a little far but it's gonna be really tough to get down in there unless I can move this so we shall see okay so I was able to move that out of the way here is the gas line um, and I'm gonna clean up under here I haven't done that yet it's pretty gross um, but I need to paint at least to right here in this part um and while i got the paint out i'm gonna go ahead and touch these up a little bit more um one more coat i think this will be good so i'll do that and then let it dry for a little bit and i will work on backsplash some more
So I have my backsplash slash accent walls complete. I decided to come back over to this section and I added that little piece. So Shane's off work. We're out here doing the floors. Um, so much easier with two people um, and somebody who is better at cutting straight lines than me. Um, my hands are super sticky. Shane's just doing all the cutting and measuring and I'm doing the laying so that helps. Um, I don't think anybody's mentioned how sticky this stuff is. My hands are ridiculous. Um, but it's coming along. So we're back, it's a Friday, me and Shane are both off today, so I'm super excited, I think we'll get a lot done today. Um, he's putting on our fire extinguisher thing, we're seeing how that looks, it looks so good. We've just painted it the same color as the hardware, um, it's that oil rubbed bronze, it looks good. We are working on the floors, so we're about to start that and finish those up, it looks amazing. Um, and then Shane, I don't think I showed you guys, but Shane was using, um, I think it was this one. It was the end that has not been cut as his straight edge um, to help with the cuts. Um, and that worked great. Um, and then the longer pieces, we're just using a normal one with the edge um, to make those for these long skinny pieces we have to make. So we're about to get started on that and hopefully we'll be finished in a little while. We are working on the last couple of spots. We got these pieces and underneath the fridge right here. Everything else is done. It looks so good. Last piece. Super excited. How's it fit? Beautiful. So honestly, the floors were a lot harder in here than we thought. There is so many little bumps and edges and the floors or I guess everything else around the floors is like super uneven. So I think we did a pretty good job. Couple little areas like this little part we didn't care too much about because the table's gonna go over it and we'll just caulk that little edge. Probably just in there, the rest looks pretty good. So we're back home. We're gonna try to, we still have all these cabinets in the garage or well, our carport actually. Um, Shane just put these back ones on. We're going to go ahead and do those here and then we will load them up and bring them up there and I'll show y'all once we get all the hardware back on. Alright, progress update. We got the cabinets, the paint, the floors, a little bit of other stuff. Um, it looks so I love it. Still gotta put the stove. So we have the stove um, back at the house. I'm gonna try to wrap it. And then the table also is back at the house. Um, I'm gonna go actually try to do that in just a few minutes. Um, 
and then I'll have to come back and try to do these counters with that marble stuff that I showed you guys. So we'll see. I'm going to test it on the ones we got at home and see how that does. But this is progress so far. So we're prepping the table. I cleaned it real good. Shane's going to take off this back piece for me. That way it'll be easier to wrap um, and fold over. I will try to show you guys the process. We're measuring. Yeah, it looks really, it's really shiny, a lot shinier than I thought it was going to be, so I think that'll look good. Um, but I need to have enough to wrap on the edges, too. Um, so we'll do that, and I'll just cut, and I'm going to start from one side. Okay, so even with the hair dryer technique, it's burning like crazy. This one doesn't stretch the best. I think what we're gonna do is just cut the top along the edge. We have gray on the side. I'm totally cool with that. So we'll see how that turns out. So for the table, it looks really good. We decided to just do the edge. I've gotta go around and kind of push it down really good. Hopefully it'll stay. I'm gonna let you guys know how that ends up doing. We have a little line where we had to split it, but it doesn't look bad. Looks better than it did, that's for sure. Trying to get my edges over here. So for this stove top, we were gonna try to take this piece out so I could just lay a whole sheet down on top and it would work pretty good. Which I might still could, we'll see. I'll probably just cut little strips though. I think it'll be good enough. Um, and just do them along and just match them up. Um, this little piece we would have to take off and we really didn't want to mess with that too much. So I'm going to just clean this really good and I may just go around the edges of this. All right guys, we got the counters done. They're not perfect by any means, but they look pretty sweet. So we have this side turned out really good. We just need to finish caulking and it'll be done. We actually have a lot of counter space. So we have all of this. And then the table. And then we have, um, like this one's a whole sheet. Um, the size that I told you guys earlier worked perfect for that, but this one I had to piece together. We were going to try to take the sink off, but it's just too much. Um, so we have a couple little seams every now and then, but honestly, you really can't see it that much. And it's not going to be perfect anyways, but it looks good. With the cushions that we bought, we bought those dining room chair covers. So they fit pretty well. But I did add a couple of safety pins um, just to make them a little tighter in certain areas. Um, and it looks really good. The bottoms I actually didn't do anything to. There's like a little spot right here, but it's up against the wall. So you won't see that. And then it'll be easy to take off and wash. Um, this one, I think I have like two safety pins just to keep it pulled nice and tight. And then these we did a bunch on it. Um, so it was kind of small. So it's kind of wrapped good, but it still fits really nice. So those worked pretty good for pretty cheap and not much effort. They are coming down. I'm working on putting these sheets on. 
Um, I think I'll probably, for bedding wise, I'll probably have to get a twin really for over here for um, quilt wise and a queen on that side. I got these sheets real cheap at Hamrix, $10. So $10 for this side and $10 for that side. So, whole reason for us to get a pop up for the most part is for the girls. Um, that way if there's a hike or something and or it's just really hot on the beach and they just don't need to be out there all day They can be in here at least in the AC They are super excited. That's the whole reason for the pop-up right there Ava and Lily <laughs> They're already walking all over the counters There's dog ear everywhere already but that's what it's made for. <laughs> Goodness. Hey, girls. Look at the pathway that goes <laughs> They literally do that. They can walk from bed to bed so easy. Oh, goodness, girls. <laughs> yeah, y'all explore down there some. Papa is coming along. Um, almost done with it. I have a couple more things. Um, I'll show you what I got though that I just finished up. I bought this shower curtain. A little wrinkly, but I think it'll probably just stay wrinkly when I close the camper, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, and then I got these curtain rods. They're really small on the ends. I actually found those at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. They're like $12.99. So I got two, one for each side. And I found these curtains that work perfect lengthwise, um, length and width wise. Let's get this kind of out of the way. Um, so they were 50 by 45 or 48, I believe. I'll have to look. Um, but they were on Amazon and like 20 bucks for two panels. Um, so of course I got two sets. Um, so 40 about $65 on the curtains. The bedding is done. Um, these, I got a queen for this side and then a twin for the other side. Um, those were both less than $30 on Amazon too. Um, and then my last thing that I'm working on now is the door. 